I was playing with my friend Judah outside when I heard a loud noise. I looked around and I saw my parents quickly rushing into the house. I followed them inside and the news channel was playing on the TV. The news anchor was saying something about China and Russia launching nuclear weapons. I didn't understand what was going on, but I knew it wasn't good. My parents were rushing around the house, grabbing our passports and packing up whatever they could. I knew we had to leave quickly. My dad grabbed my hand and we rushed out of the house. The city was in chaos. People were running and screaming everywhere. There was smoke and fire from the bombs. We decided to head to the military bunker in the Colorado mountains. We rushed through the streets, trying to avoid the destruction. When we'd arrived at the bunker, we found that it was overcrowded and there wasn't enough space for everyone. We were turned away and told to find another way to safety. We decided to go to the airport and luckily, we were able to get on a plane to Ghana, Africa. The plane took off and I could see the destruction from the sky. It was terrifying. We eventually landed in Ghana and started a new life. Although the future was uncertain, I had hoped that things would one day be okay. We started to rebuild our lives in Africa, although the world was mourning the US. There we were able to find some peace and stability while we waited for retaliation from afar. I had to stay strong and never give up hope I was told, but how can I have hope when the world was at war? I looked to the sky and I prayed to UIAUI. With all I had just like I always saw my mom do. Instantly I felt safe somehow and did not worry about things I could not change.